much uh, uh, for your time. Just how widespread is uh, the sale of expired, fake, and potentially uh, harmful food products um, in, 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 is in this country? Okay. I want to separate the two issues quickly, Vuyo, for the understanding of the, of the viewers. There's the issue of expired uh, food products. The NCC um, has been conducting inspections in various products. We have engaged some of the suppliers, or actually the suppliers that we have found to have had uh, expired goods. But we are also very mindful that there might be other suppliers that are also uh, having uh, uh, expired food products still on their shelves and that are selling these to consumers. Now, insofar as these ones that we have engaged already is concerned, um, many of them have already gotten to a point of compliance. So there are those uh, uh, culprits out there that are still selling uh, uh, expired food products to our consumers. And uh, those are the ones that we are gathering intelligence about. Uh, some of the information we already have uh, and will be, as part of our strategy, we would be, uh, we'll be having operations in all nine provinces uh, to basically bring an end to this uh, issue of having expired food products uh, in the stores and selling that to our consumers and exposing them to, to harm. And then there's the issue of uh, uh, fake goods. Now, I'm not going to get into the fake uh, food products first, but fake goods. We know, and many of us know for some time already, that you find on um, the informal markets, you would find your CDs, you would find uh, clothing items, shoes, uh, tools as well. And now we have seen uh, that there's, or we, we are hearing and learning through social media that there's also manufacturing of uh, counterfeit or illicit food products, which poses a very serious risk to our consumers. Uh, Trevor, I just want us to stick to food and medicine just for a short um, while. Who are the culprits? Do they fall within a particular category? I won't say that they fall within a particular category. Uh, one needs to be mindful that there's a, there's a value chain here. Um, there, there's really a value chain. And we are gathering information insofar as who exactly um, all the elements are in that value chain so that we can deal with them uh, decisively. But yes, we have some information. Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to disclose this information at this point in time. But uh, we have some information insofar as who these culprits are. Uh, whose job is it um, to, you know, uh, find these culprits and do something about it? You know, when it comes to the issue of um, inspections and in, 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 insofar as food safety is concerned, um, we have food, uh, sorry, we have uh, inspectors uh, at the level of municipality, uh, municipal health inspectors that ordinarily would go out and do inspections insofar as that is concerned. But at, at the same time, we need to be mindful that this is also a joint, uh, or sorry, a shared responsibility rather uh, between um, the Consumer Commission has a role to play there as well as the uh, Department of Health and the Municipal Health Services in particular. Well, let's be open and perhaps frank about it. Do you believe as the commission that you do have the capacity to actually do what you require to do in terms of the law? And do you believe that the people you share the responsibility with, municipalities is, what, is who we're talking about here, do you believe that they also have the requisite capacity to actually deal with the problem? Well, before we can even get to explain whether we have uh, the capacity, we need to assess the extent of the problem. And one of the things that we are doing right now is to really assess the extent of that problem. And if there is a need for, uh, uh, for our capacity to be bolstered in accordance with what we find to be the extent of this problem, surely we will speak with our principals, we will speak with our minister as the National Consumer Commission, we'll be knocking on the door of the Department of Trade and Industry. And also accordingly, the uh, municipal inspectors, we would be communicating definitely to our principles to ensure that we have sufficient capacity on the ground to deal with the issues at hand. But it is, it is a fact. Before you can even say that we don't have enough capacity, you need to evaluate the extent of the problems that we have on the ground.
Well, if you haven't been able to do so now, doesn't that suggest that either you don't have the capacity to do what you're supposed um, uh, to be doing, or perhaps you shifted your eye, your eye is no longer on the ball? Not, not necessarily, uh, Vuyo. Um, this issue of expired goods, let's be realistic about this. For some time, there has been issues of expiry of goods. And as I mentioned, the NCC has conducted inspections uh, around the country. We have engaged uh, many of these uh, 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 culprits that we found to have not complied. And, and to, to, at this point in time, a lot of them are actually complying. But there are others. There are other businesses uh, that definitely are selling these expired goods. And hence, we see the situation right now where con consumers are taking matters into their own hands, uh, where they're starting social media campaigns, which I must say is not really effective because you are using a social media platform to uh, evoke emotions out of uh, consumers, to mobilize consumers, to uh, uh, start employing um, vigilante uh, um, activities to address an issue, whereas there are authorities, uh, and they should actually be coming to the authorities to report these matters. And as you said, once, if these matters had been reported to us, surely we would have been able to assess the extent we, should have, we would have been able to de uh, deploy as many resources as necessary uh, to deal with these issues. But we learn through, through social media about these issues, and uh, hence we are reacting in the way that we are reacting. We want to deal with this thing as quickly as possibly, and we do not want any further violence on the ground. In fact, we are calling for calm. We are asking uh, and appealing to our consumers and our communities to please take the authorities into your confidence. Come to us, report these incidences to us so that we can assist you and so that we can deal with these issues within the confines of the law. Trevor, thank you very much uh, for your time. He is the spokesperson for the National Consumer Commission, urging people not to evoke uh, um, um, emotions by further circulating the videos uh, that we've seen so far, but also to stop the vigilante actions that we are seeing in Soweto, uh, for example, currently uh, also adamant uh, that a lot of people are now complying, but those who aren't complying Applying, please report them instead of embarking on vigilante actions against them. Well.